welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing Lumber Tycoon Part 1. Sorry I haven't posted in three and a half months. I had some tests and like vacation and stuff like that. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, but yeah, someone wanted me to make a Lumber Tycoon uh, series, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. So, first thing. Let's make some, uh, I guess, planks, because lumber, tycoon, lumber in the name. Okay, I think you guys get it. Okay, uh, how big should we make this? Two? Yeah. Okay, this looks good. Just two by eight by one. Yeah, by one. Okay, let's add some nice material to it let's do wood planks yep uh i guess like hmm this is a good actually should i just do like let's do like a brownish browner color at least yeah this one looks good all right so we have our plank here. Let's call this a plank. Oopsies. Uh, plank. Okay. Duplicate this a couple times. Let's get a couple in here. Okay. Now let's make a folder. Put it just in the workspace. Let's call this movable. Put this in here. Okay. Now we are all set. We don't need to add anything else to this. Okay. Let's go into starter player, starter player scripts. Let's add a local script. Okay. Local player is equal to uh, game. Oh, oopsies. Game dot players dot local player. Local mouse is equal to player get mouse. Okay. And then local holding is equal to uh, false. Okay. This just gets the player. This gets the player's mouse. And this is just a variable that says if we're holding something currently. Okay. Oopsies. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we're gonna make a function. It's gonna be mouse dot mouse but dot mouse button one? I'm pretty sure it's dot mouse button one. Wait, let's see. Dot Oh, it's just button one up, okay. Or, sorry, button one down. Button one down, okay. Connect, function, and then, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a couple checks here. For, or actually, <laughs> we should probably just first say that holding is equal to true, because then we know that we are holding something. Actually, you know what? Let's do this after we do a couple checks, just to make sure we're actually holding something. Okay, so if uh, not mouse dot target, uh, then return oh, return end. That just says if there isn't a mouse dot target. So if your mouse isn't like hovering over anything, so that would be if you are just like pointing into the sky. If there isn't one, then uh, it'll return end, so it'll just stop this function. Okay, uh, then uh, we can just set the, we can just set the, ah, oopsies. Holding is equal to true, because we know that it's holding something. Actually, I'm gonna do it after all the tests, or all, after all the checks, that'll just make it a little bit easier. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see if it's in the movable folder, so. Uh, local folder is equal to uh, mouse dot target dot uh, I'm pretty sure it's find first ancestor of class yeah of class folder and then we'll say if not folder so if the folder isn't a thing uh yeah then return end and then also if uh folder dot name does not equal 
movable because we want everything that's movable. Uh, it does not equal movable. This is just basically if uh, if it's not or if you have like a model, uh, then it wouldn't just it wouldn't just be script parent because you'd have like a ton of dis different parts in here. You might just want to click this part, and it would click on it would uh, if we did script parent it would get us this instead of this, which is what we want. So yeah. Okay. Nope. Meant to say folder there. Okay. If does not equal movable, then return return end. Okay. Okay, so uh, now we are basically just going to do the part where we actually move it around because now we know that, or actually, we should, hmm, now that we did all the checks, like I said, we should do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the part where we kind of just move it around, like we grab it and we move it around. This code does have a little bit of bugs, but... Uh, I thought since it was already three months um, since I posted, I'll just uh, get this out here and then I'll fix them. I'll probably post another video over the weekend. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's do, I guess we can call it a hold E. This will just make it simpler. Local hold E is equal to uh, mouse.target. This is just uh, making it so instead of writing mouse.target, we just write hold E. And then uh, now let's do hold. This will make sense later. So just hang on. I'll explain it. Uh, and then we'll do, actually, yeah, we'll get the distance. Uh, so local dist is equal to workspace dot camera dot c frame dot position minus uh it's just hold e dot position yeah all right and then we're gonna do dot magnitude this just gets the distance between them uh yeah th this is just where your camera is um right now like my camera is right where my camera is yeah but since it returns a C frame, you, uh, bleh. since you can't get a position right from the camera, you have to do the C frame. You have to get it C frame, and then you have to get the C frame's position. Okay, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, now let's get the rotation. So we'll just do local rot is equal to hold e dot rotation. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. It'll make it. It does make it look a little bit better, but. I'm not sure if it, like, I mean, we'll just fix it in the next video. It's fine. Okay. So, uh, let's do, uh, hold is equal to game get service run service dot render stepped connect function. I think that's probably correct. I hope so. Okay. Uh, now we're just going to say if holding equals false, then, uh, we're just going to say hold disconnect, oh, hold disconnect, disconnect. I don't know why it doesn't show up as like an, yeah, <laughs> okay, so, uh, yep, and we're just going to do return. Okay, so this is a cool thing that you can do, like I was doing up here. You can do uh, then return end, but if you want to add like a single line inside, you can do if holding uh, equals equals false, then hold disconnect, return end. It does make it look a little bit weird, and I don't really like doing that, but it is possible if you like it that way. Okay. So hold disconnect just basically means uh, this function, this render step. You no, know, I'll explain this render step. <laughs> this render step just makes basically means this will this function will run every single time the game is rendered. 
and this is saying if uh, if we aren't holding it anymore, then it will stop this function. And yeah. Okay. So uh, hmm, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's make a local ray. We're gonna set that equal to workspace dot cam camera uh, dot wait is it dot I'm not sh wait let me think L let's just try not dot ah oh, yes okay uh, viewpoint to ray and we're going to get the mouse position so mouse dot x and mouse dot y okay and uh, we're going to do or this is where we actually set the like the holdies or mouse dot targets position. We're just gonna say uh, hold D dot position is equal to uh, uh, oopsies ray origin. Oh, I don't have that set. That's cool. <laughs> Sorry. Ray. Since I don't have that set, I'm just gonna have to do ray dot origin plus ray dot direction. And time, uh, no, we should probably put this here. Times, uh, distance, this disk right here. Okay, I'll explain a little bit. So, this, this distance, this is just getting the distance between the camera and the, uh, map, like the target, like the thing that we're holding on to. Uh, this hold function, it runs every frame, and if we aren't holding it anymore, then it'll stop. Uh, this ray just starts from the camera and it shoots out depending on where the mouse is. So if my mouse is over here, it would shoot out and see where, like, my mouse is from a ray. Like, from my camera, a ray shooting to my mouse. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and uh, it takes in the mouse, X mouse, Y, that's just where my mouse is. Okay. And uh, hold the dot position. This is setting the position of the uh, target, and it's saying the ray dot origin, which is our camera, uh, t plus the ray direction, which is the direction our mouse is. So yeah, the direction our mouse is, times the distance. So if our mouse actually, I'm a, I'm gonna make a part here. You can skip this if you want, but cool learning, I guess. Yeah, okay. So this is our camera. And this is our little tiny mouse. So it would basically uh, say ray dot origin, which is this position, plus the ray direction, which is, uh, oopsies, which is this direction from here. That's like a vector three direction and uh, it'll multiply it by the distance between them. So it would basically put uh, a little, little tiny, little tiny like vector thing here. And then it'll say times distance. And then it'll, oopsies. <laughs> it'll uh, do that basically, but more aligned. <laughs> that was a terrible explanation, but we'll go with it. Okay. Uh, where do you, okay. So now what we're gonna do is actually make it so that you can disconnect it. Cause actually, I'll show you right now. If we just had it like this, we have no way of un like unclicking, unholding it. Cause right now it'd just be, oopsies. What do I do here? Ah, okay. I have to do that. Little mistake. Okay. What the fuck just happened? Where where is it going? Okay, well uh yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh let's just add the disconnecting part. So mouse button one up connect function 
and then we'll say holding is equal to false. That's all you need in here. Okay. Does that fix it, or do we have a bigger problem here? We have a bigger problem. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I always love when we have a really big problem here and we can't figure out a way to fix it. It's always so fun, you know? Just not knowing what you did wrong. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> why did I put that in? Okay, that doesn't even... Okay. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I multiplied the distance times ray origin and ray direction oh my gosh <sighs> my brain's mushy right now okay well now it works it's a little bit finicky it's a little bit floating but we'll fix it and then this is just a visual glitch kind of it it's not really doing that actually it is okay i don't know what's happening here well i'll fix it in the next video don't worry this is weird yeah, this is like velocity stuff. It has too much velocity. Oh yeah, this is the rotation thing that I was talking about. If we stop the rotation, this wouldn't happen, but it also kind of looks funny, so I kept it in. Okay, that is the end of the video. I will make like a part two over the weekend, so don't worry, I will fix these bugs. I know, I know, they're not great. I will fix them, okay, bye.